Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tyler, and today I want to talk about why I think the Network Plus is the best first certification you can go for. So if you guys keep up with the channel, you might have seen my first certification or first tech certification bracket I did just a little bit ago. It was a super fun video. But if if you watched it, if you didn't, go watch it right now because I'm about to spoil it. So I'll give you all a few seconds. All right, welcome back. So if you've seen that video, you'll know that the Network Plus won, and that's kind of a hot take. I know, I know that's a little bit of a controversial topic. So I wanted to make a whole video explaining all the different reasons why I think the Network Plus is the best first certification you can go for. So before we get into the reasons I, I picked, I want to give a little bit of background of who am I directing this to. So I'm going to kind of mirror, mirror it from my own experience. So if you guys didn't know, the Network Plus was my first tech certification. This may be a little bit biased, but I knew pretty much nothing about computers or about tech before going for that that certification. I knew a little tiny bit of cloud because I did a, my senior project in high school on cloud computing. So I, there was a little bit there, but overall, I knew pretty much nothing. So I'm going to be kind of directing that video for directing this video for people in that scenario. Because I mean, obviously, if you've been in networking for 10 years, and you know how to configure switches and routers, and you're building networks, then I would say you probably don't need to go and take the network plus you can jump to the CCNA or one of the more complicated networking certifications. But this video isn't for those people. This video is mostly for the beginners because it's the scariest thing trying to pick out your first certification. I mean, there's a hundred different options and a hundred different people screaming at you to do, to do different things. So let's talk about it. In my experience, the first thing that the Network Plus was really, really good at was providing kind of it, like a nice ramp up to learning how to study. And what I mean by that is you didn't have to learn any topic that in depth. And that sounds, that sounds weird. Like wouldn't you want to learn things more in depth? Well, yes, but later on. So like when you're breaking into your first certification, brand new to it, kind of nervous, everything feels super overwhelming. You don't, want to be learning how to calculate OSPF right now. That will make you feel even more overwhelmed. You'll be questioning like, can I do this? Am I cut out for this? And the Network Plus is nice because it doesn't make you learn how to calculate OSPF or learn how to figure out what Spanning Tree Protocol is doing or like lab anything. It's a mile wide and an inch deep and it's all just very conceptual. So while it might not teach you the in-depth skills that something like the CCNA would do, it teaches you how to consume information and retain it and learn it so you can pass your test. And it teaches, it, not, it doesn't not teach you anything, obviously, but it just isn't as in-depth as the CCNA. And I think when you're picking out your first certification, having a certification that isn't like oh, completely overwhelming is important because it just kind of teaches you how to learn very gently. You can, it's almost, the network plus is almost like definition based. There's not a lot of big, scary scenario questions. It's almost like I don't, it, calling it a vocabulary test sounds like it's dumbing it down because I'm not I don't want to pretend like it's an easy certification to get either but it's it's almost like a vocabulary test where you have to learn the wi-fi standards and the cable standards and what does a router do and what does a switch do and very just shallow questions but I think that's a good thing because like I've said, 
when getting into the tech space is overwhelming enough already and studying a book that's this thick, that's still like a lot. And I don't think struggling to learn these topics is really what you want when you're first starting out. To summarize that first point, the first reason I like the Network Plus is it teaches you how to study these technical questions and these technical uh, concepts without being completely overwhelming and making you feel like you are just completely lost at sea, zero idea what's going on. The second reason I picked why I think the Network Plus is the best first certification is it helps you build study habits. So kind of similar to the last point I made, it helps you wake up every day and pick up a book or pick up a course or take a practice test and get that consistency down because I think it's a little bit easier to build that consistency when once again, you don't have to fire up labs and like lab stuff and learn these crazy, crazy topics like the stuff that's in something like the CCNA. It's it's easier content to study. And I think it helps with building those initial study habits of getting in the rhythm of studying for your certifications every day, regardless of like which one it is. Because when you finish the Network Plus, you can go and uh, prepare for the CCNA and those habits will be there. It won't be as much of a burden to go and like pick up these crazy thick textbooks you see over here and fire up those labs and just study because you've been doing it for three, four, five months already studying for the Network Plus. So reason number two why I think it's the best for a certification is it does a really good job, at least in my experience, of building those initial study habits, which can carry over to your other certifications. So let's move on to the third thing I kind of want to talk about. I think the Network Plus is an amazing start because, once again, I don't want to downplay the Network Plus. It's not an easy certification to pass. You can't study the textbook for two weeks and expect to pass because you won't. But I think it's kind of like an easy win because CompTIA makes it very, very clear how to study these topics to pass your certification. They literally give you a list of like, I think it's like 650 terms or something that you need to learn. And you can go and just make sure you know all those terms and you can go pass your test. And if you do that, you are almost guaranteed to pass. If you try to like cut corners and do like just barely enough to pass, then odds are you probably won't. But if you do follow that, it, CompTIA makes it very easy to, to know when you're ready for the test. And that kind of makes the certification like an easy win. Because if you study, you will know when you're ready for the test and you can go and pass your certification. The feeling of passing a certification, it's almost like a springboard because like at least when I like passed my Network Plus, it got me super amped up to go and pick out my next certification and keep going and keep studying and keep collecting these certifications. And I think that's super important when you're, when you're brand new to tech is to kind of get that win and then get super excited to move on and to learn more and obviously the idea is to get uh get the job you want whatever it is network engineer cloud engineer there's a million of them but i think the network plus does an amazing job at kind of providing that initial boost to get you amped up to further your it career and on the topic of it careers another thing this one I don't know if it's as strong of a point, but I think it does an okay job of giving you at least a rough idea of what interests you, at least initially, because like I said, it's not a super in-depth certification. So you really don't learn in depth any topic 
you just learn about like a whole spread of topics. I mean, wireless, security, cloud, networking, all sorts of stuff is in is in the network plus. And that spread of information you're learning can kind of help you pick out a couple topics that might sound interesting to you. So like for me, I remember when I was taking it, cloud and security jumped out at me. I liked cloud because I love being able to build like build projects and build products without needing to go and buy a bunch of stuff because I like to like switch it up. I like to build different things and break stuff and tear it down and all sorts of stuff with just infrastructure and cloud makes it super easy for that. And even when I was taking the network plus, I was kind of learning more about like cloud networking and these cloud services. And I was like, Oh, that's kind of neat. Maybe we'll, we'll go down that road at some point. And then I remember security kind of learning all the different types of attacks, not how they work or anything, but learning what they were learning all those different little ways you can poke holes in a network to exploit the systems to make them do stuff you don't want to do. I thought that was super neat. So immediately I was able to flag security as something that I might want to go down in the future. Obviously the network plus, I don't think is going to teach you that initially. I don't think it's going to be like love at first sight. Oh my gosh, I know I have to go down security. But I think it does a good job at narrowing it down. So I think it can kind of kind of help with that. Once again, I, I don't want to say that the Network Plus will tell you what your calling is in the tech field, but it might help narrow it down, or at least in my experience it did. I think that was all of the things I wanted to go over as to why I thought the Network Plus is the best first certification you can go for. Real quick, let's do a recap. So the first thing I think the Network Plus does a good job at is teaching you how to study technical concepts. You're not learning English or history or math or anything that you might have learned in school. It's all very different. And the Network Plus is a great certification to teach you how to study these kinds of topics and retain the information from these topics to obviously pass your certification. The second thing I think it does a really good job at is helping you build those initial study habits that will transfer on into your your next certifications because we're not stopping at the network plus. You got you got a million certifications to do. It's super fun. Anyway, the third thing I think it does a really good job at is providing an easy win. Just, I say that just because CompTIA makes it very, very clear what you need to know to pass these tests. And if you follow that, then I would argue that the test itself isn't that tricky. It's equally as scary as these other certification tests. I've taken a few, but I don't think it's as difficult to study for. So I think it kind of provides a nice easy win that can really motivate you to go on and take your next certifications. The third thing I mentioned I thought it was really good at, or fourth, third, one of them, is helping you narrow down what you want to do in the tech career because it's so wide. It's like I said, it's a mile wide and an inch deep. When you're learning this mile wide breadth of information, you're bound to see a couple topics that stand out just a little bit more than other topics. Like I remember I saw wireless networking and I'll be honest, I kind of knew immediately that wireless networking was not going to be my jam, but I saw cloud and security on there and I was like, kind of cool. I mean, I don't know really anything about it, but it piqued my interest initially. So keep, well, I'll keep that in mind as I'm going and reaching for these other certifications. I think that was all the points I made in this video, but as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys have any other reasons why you like it, or even reasons why you don't, like one reason I know people will argue with me is it's honestly not great for getting like a network engineering job. 
that's where like the CCNA comes in because it is more in depth and more technical. But yeah, the the where it kind of falls is the its ability to get you those more advanced roles. Like the network plus is will get you like that help desk role, that initial foot in the door job to IT. But I don't think it's gonna get you those higher up those higher up jobs. So that is one area where it kind of struggles, but I still think it's worth starting with. Absolutely. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe. You know I gotta say it. But thank you guys again. Have a great rest of your weekend.